Let's go straight to Steve Hilton, who has long experience working with Prime Minister David Cameron. Steve, first, to, first deal with this. The media says that we could get into serious trouble if we, in America, cut taxes. What say you to that? Well, I think the lesson from what we've seen in the UK for the last few weeks is that it's not enough to have the right ideas or the right policies. You have to have proper um, preparation, professional mm. implementation and persuasive communication. You didn't have any of that. And that's why the right policies in this case, which I firmly believe the only real option for long term success for the British economy outside the EU is to be a low tax, low regulation um, beacon of freedom that has this pro-growth agenda, that is the right idea. It's the right idea for the UK. It's the right idea for us here in America. But you have to lay the groundwork. You can't just pluck it out of a hat one Friday morning as they did and hope that everything will be fine. We're in a new era now because the hangover from the debt that's accumulated over the years of low interest rates, and especially during the pandemic, we mustn't forget that. Those pandemic shutdowns that were so unjustified because of the science and all the things we know about the virus, we're going to be living with the consequences of that for years now. But low taxes, pro-growth, that is the only way in the long term to get out of that mess. What about Boris Johnson? There's all this talk that he could come back. What do you make of that? What, what, what do you think would happen if Boris Johnson really didn't come back? Well, look, he definitely wants to. That's clear from all the briefings to the newspapers. He's been on vacation in the Caribbean. He's flying back into this chaotic political environment. I think right now you would make him the very slight favourite. The reason for that is that he, if he gets the... If he clears the threshold of nominations from the members of parliament, which is 100, and if other people don't run, if it's just two or three candidates, he's likely to get that. He's the favourite of the grassroots. It goes to a vote of the membership. You've got to make him the favourite to win that vote. And so, looking at it right now, um, I would say he's just slightly the favourite to be the next Prime Minister. It's unbelievable, but, but there you are. Isn't he a green energy guy? Uh, isn't he big on... He, didn't he want to tax the <laughs> yes. oil companies or something? I mean, what kind of Conservative is that? Well, exactly. That's been the, one of the main reasons for the problems the UK's been in. And there's going to be more of it this winter when there's the energy crisis that means that people won't be able to afford to heat their homes and so on. They've been so dependent on imported Russian energy because they failed to exploit the opportunities right. in the UK. Belatedly, they've embraced more nuclear power, as I've been arguing we should do here in America. But they've got this crazy net zero energy target, which is really having a negative impact right across the economy. Uh, he's saying, Boris Johnson is saying through his briefings, he's going to listen and learn and, and correct some of the mistakes of the past in relation to his behaviour. Let's hope that he, if he does get back in, he'll correct some of the policy mistakes as well. It's just, it looks such a grim picture emerging from Britain at this moment. Out of Europe, dismissed by America, pound crashing, politically leaderless, and what else? We're facing an awful winter of discontent. I mean, it couldn't get yes. much worse than this, could it? Or could it? Well, that's right. But um, well, you, could, you, could, you could see it getting a little bit worse if they do go through with what some members of parliament are threatening to do if Boris Johnson becomes the new leader, leave the party, set up a different faction, the Conservative Party splits. It could get more chaotic. I don't think it will, but I wouldn't put it past them based on the behaviour of the last few weeks. What a situation. All right, Steve, uh, thanks for joining into this because uh, we need to, the voice of reason from California. We need it. Uh, Steve, we'll be watching your show The Next thanks, Revolution Jim. on Sunday night, 9 p.m. Eastern, only on Fox.